recorded as a settlement in the Doomsday Book, Wimmering Manor is the oldest building in Portsmouth, and the name Wimmering may have derived from Wim, a Saxon tribal leader who lived in the area around 400 AD. The original manor belonged to Edward the Confessor after the Battle of Hastings in 1066, although the manor's current structure is early 16th century. Reverend George Nugy purchased the manor in the 19th century and remodelled the house adding a chapel and refectory, although after World War II, the house became run down and in disrepair. In the 1940s, Leonard Metcalf purchased the manor, renovating and refurbishing it to restore it to a family residence. Portsmouth City Council owned Wimmering Manor for over 40 years, and during that time, it was leased to the Youth Hostel Association. The manor is now privately owned. Of course, Wimmering Manor is well known for its paranormal activity, with many investigations having been done here, with alleged reports of between 20 and 30 spirits in the house. Many people have sensed or seen children on the upper floors, as well as hearing their laughs and cries. Full apparitions, disturbed activity, and strong presences have been felt throughout the building from the top floor to the cellar. Having worked here many times before, without their media and UK PRS, and witnessed some strange activity, most notably in August 2008, during a whole weekend of investigation. And hey, that's it, keep coming, mate. It's heavy. God, it's a bit I've heavy. Known in it like this. No. This in. It's just walls, oh, it's, oh. it's been kicked on. See, this is what happens when someone comes and opens a doorway. I was intrigued if Wimmering Manor's paranormal reputation would manifest itself to the spiral team. Joining Alan, Mandy, Al, Annalisa and I on this private investigation is special guest Nori Miles of Out There Media, along with Andrew, James and Nicola of UK PRS. Okay, Nori, we're here at Wimmering Manor in Portsmouth. Now, you've been here quite a few times before. What kind of thing would you expect us to experience tonight in your experience of being here over the years? Well, over the years, the phenomena seems to have changed. When I first started to come here, there was lots of reported sightings mm. and... Um, uh, poltergeist activity, whereas things have seem to have quietened down a lot more now, and I think the things that happen the most are people is sensing um, cold spots and things that are being watched, uh, and walking along, sort of like walking through some form of energy or something like that. Um, so I, I would most probably it's like having the feeling that you're being watched or someone's near you. I think that that will be the most common one people will experience this evening. Now I've worked with you a lot in the past um, and we've been here with a lot of public events. But we want to try some new experiments tonight. What kind of experiments do you wish to sort of try and proceed forward away from the traditional ways of so you want to try some new experiments? What would you like to see happen tonight? Well I think the most important thing on a ghost hunt is not the equipment, it, it's yourself. Mm. You know, you don't need that, that equipment. And it's self-evidence that that's what you need. So tonight we're going to try an experiment where we're going to give each person a little pad and pen and we're going to put them in one room and get them to relax and feel the energies of the room. And then I'm going to ask them a series of questions and I want them to write the first answer that comes down into their head onto the pad. And we'll just see after that if anything matches up. Now here we're also with Medium Alan Barney, who has been here once before. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because you know exactly what's here. Mm -hmm. See what he picks up on as well. We're going to do a couple of uh, solo vigils as well, mm -hmm. which I think will be quite interesting from a psychological point of view. Yes. So yes, I think it's hoping it'll be quite an interesting evening. There's a couple of interesting areas to put people in, that's for sure. With locked off DV monitoring equipment set up, we are reacquaint ourselves with the property, with medium Alan Barnett and the team starting in the music room. Here we are in the music room, at the moment feeling quite flat. There is a very little energy now, very little, still nothing, really strong. <coughs> and it's a male again, but it doesn't feel that, that strong at the moment. It just it's not residual because I can actually feel that coming in from nothing at all. So I think he's just stepping back at the moment, but around. What is the music? Freezing in here. It's music room. We are in the music room, we're going to have a little vigil in here just for 10 minutes to see. We can start coaching things in and then we'll try and... We're going to do 
communicate with us, tap, throw something, move something, touch somebody. You do something for us, like tap on something, on a piece of furniture. Please come forward. Clammy number three. A clammy number three. A clammy number three. <coughs> Can you do something with the door, please? Don't ask a lot, do you? Try <laughs> to get a little tap. You're asking anything. to open and close the doors. I'm not that open and close. <laughs> knock on the door. Can you compose a light concerto? <laughs> <laughs> we head down into the cellar place with an oppressive atmosphere and where a strong male presence has been reported many times. So here we are in the cellar. Um, this can be quite an interesting place as talking to James just now. Lacking UK Ferris has uh, been here quite a lot, many times. I've been down here when things have kicked off as well, so but I don't think anything's kicking off tonight because it's very, very quiet so far. There is a male around us down here. Is he, uh, is he around us uh, at the moment? Well, I feel him as soon as I come down here. But, um, Apparently Once again, he doesn't seem to be doing much. No. Apparently it's quite strong um, energy. Yeah, no, as soon as I come down here, I can feel the male energy down there. He looks very weaselly looking. Face, you know, slim. And I still get the impression again, I think I'm remembering this before, she's coming through the thing again, of him either sleeping down here or living down here for some reason, you yeah. know? I suppose if I try and link in, I get more, personally, more like residual. As she said, it doesn't feel like they're going to interact anyway, because it's almost like, I suppose, a person that you go along about or other people down here, it's like they're just getting on and doing their thing. It's... Yeah. Don't throw that pain Why don't you not feel here? Huh? I don't know. No. <laughs> I don't know. No, so this is a bit because there's no way out apart from this one entrance, is there? This is where I felt, I just said to Alan earlier, I smelled a really strong smell of alcohol when we first walked in. Did you smell it? No. Really sad. <laughs> just sitting there going, I feel sad. you got a really sad face. It's like, I don't know why, I just sat here and just thought, I don't like it. It's alright. You're I'm not going to trick me. No, no, no. My tape's going to run out now. But I don't like it. Because you have the same thing. Just chill. Oh, I like you. Oh. With the rest of the team in another part of the building, Mandy Bray the solo vigil back in the music room. Okay, I'm sitting here all by myself in the music room, waiting for something to happen. We've seen a few things floating past on Alan's camera, which is recording still now while I'm talking. When we were all in here earlier, there was definitely a change in the atmosphere, and then it dropped flat again, and it's quite flat actually at the moment, but who knows? Knock on something, make a sound. Tap on this table. I think sometimes when you're on your own, the slightest sound can make you turn your head and start thinking, what was that? But you've got to kind of keep your head together and try and make sense of it. So there were a few little scratches and a few little taps and whatever, but I'm pretty sure it was just the rain outside or the wind or whatever. So, But yeah, I kind of prefer it sometimes when I'm on my own or just with one other person rather than with a big group. In the main lounge area, we conduct a communication circle. OK, we've moved down into the main hall area, uh, Wimmering Manor. And what we're going to try and do is, we've got a table set up, and try and do some uh, table work, see if we can contact any spirits around. Usually in this area, it can be quite strong. So far tonight, uh, not much is coming out to play. That's just fine, you know. If we get nothing, we show nothing. That's our philosophy. So, see how it goes, see if we build up the energy, and um, hopefully they might pop in and say hi. Oh, okay, uh, well, what the hell was that? What? I just went. Wow. That was bizarre. That wasn't. It didn't feel like a. 
bit of dust or anything. So that was quite. Okay. Is it a spider? Could be. Could be. It could, oh, it could very well be a spider. Coming down from the ceiling. I cannot find a spider though. I am. Are you? I think it's coming over towards your. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That was a spider, can you do it again please? We were interrupted by medium James Kemp of UK PRS, suddenly being alerted by something in the kitchen. Uh, no, he's just seen someone coming out of here, spirit person obviously. Uh, and what I'm actually feeling, it's almost like... Like I'm struggling to breathe or finding it hard to breathe. It's... So where was it? Was he coming in for what? Was he coming in for here or going into the, into that way or just passing through? Um, I didn't actually see him come in, but I'm trying to like find out what he's doing or whatever. I can't actually see him myself in my mind. Right. Uh, only thing I am being told is it's almost like it's either I believe it is him. It's trying to more or less like take me to somewhere in the garden. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Okay, going into the garden in Wearing Manor. See what James takes us. What I'm being shown or being told is literally just underneath or just here, this more or less near under my car. Could it be where the, the alleged tunnel runs from the church over to the manor? Do you think that that could be sort of the, the route? It could well be. Um, I must admit, me personally, I don't know where the tunnel is. I've heard of it, but... What? You feeling what I just felt? Uh, it's a cold yeah, wind getting... all around my hands. Yeah, I'm getting that on my right hand. I've been getting it. Okay. Oh, yes, that's quite... um. It's just on my fingers, actually. It's not on me. Where's that coming from? If it's a dry, we'd have had it that right like from the beginning. It's coming from directly above. Well, it's weird. It's, 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 you it's can only, feel it. You can yeah. feel it. You can feel it. But I can't. Oh, it's like one person can, one person can. Mm. It's really quite weird. Oh, yeah. It's only on my hands. It's nowhere yeah. else. Yeah, yeah just on my hands. Only no, hands. just on the hands. Yeah. Mm. If that's you dropping the temperature on someone's hands, can you try and do a bit more for us? Let us all feel it. We're kidding you, Ellen. <laughs> Did someone move the table then? No, it's pretty much. Yeah. Could have been. Okay. okay. Sign just touched me on the top of my head. Sorry? Sign just touched me on the top right. of my head. Is that why you went over? No, just as I was walking yes. back behind you, just touched on the top of the head. Have you been anything watching us from the stairs? That's yeah. what I've been That's thinking. That's what I've been getting as well. Okay. Someone, a man, came down the stairs and he sat down and what's been watching through there and then he came down the Is stairs. Is it that stair? That stairs? Mm -hmm. These stairs here. I was looking at right in front of me. I've got a feeling there's something on those <coughs> stairs, but I, I had it earlier on those. But Usually when we do anything like that here, on the right-hand staircase, you feel like someone's watching you yeah, that's that's right. constantly. Yeah, that's and the one on the left-hand stairs, you'd sense somebody actually coming down the stairs. I've got someone coming down the stairs. Yeah. And he actually stopped and just yeah, he was watching and then he came and continued down. You're all standing trying to look out the stairs. What's going on here? If there's anyone here, can you please come forward? Come and communicate with us. Make a noise on the stairs as you're coming down. Try and drop the temperature. Do you see the light on me? It's a security light across the road. Mm -hmm. Was it? Please drop the temperature right down. Make us feel icy cold. Send the breeze across our faces. Yes. Why? Yeah. I just thought I saw somebody standing up by that door. By the dining room door. Yeah, yeah there is. Where? By the dining room door. Well, where, 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 where crew room is? Yeah. yeah. There, I saw a foot, like where the light is under the door. And then it moved to the left, towards the stairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, I swear, absolutely, completely swear that I saw somebody standing over there. Really, really clearly. Unknown to Mandy at the time, Nori later confirmed that a male figure has been seen here before. And Alan Barnett had seen this presence at the same place on a previous visit to the manor. Dining room side, that's where a, a, a tall male figure's um, yeah. been seen. 
and also on to the left staircase, um, children have been seen coming down there. It's male and female, uh, both sexes have been seen coming down that stairs. Mm -hmm. I've spent five years doing these things, sitting up all night long, getting cold, getting tired, waiting and waiting, and now I've just seen a real clear man standing by the door and it's done my head in. With the notion that yourself can be the best piece of equipment to use on an investigation, we headed upstairs to one of the first floor rooms where Nori carried out an interesting experiment. We're going to turn the lights out shortly. We're going to have you a pad and pen. I'm going to ask you a series of questions over the next 10 15 minutes. So you just relax, clear your mind, sort of get rid of, sort of the everyday rubbish that's clogged your mind up. And then I'm going to ask them a series of questions. And I want them to write the first answer that comes down to their head onto the pad. So right. just go through the answers to the questions then. All right, how many of you had male? Well, how many had female? Said so one, two, three, four, five. Al? Yeah. Six. Female over there, two male, that's quite interesting, all female over that side. And male, that's interesting. Um, what age, which age do you have, Alan? My 24. Nicola? 13. 10. 14. That's 20s. 26. So you have three in their 20s. Two in their... Is it 10? 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, that's two. 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 That's Although Wimmering Manor is a familiar location to many of the team, it was generally a quiet night, with the lock-offs failing to capture anything significant, although some people did have personal experiences. A fascinating building full of contrasting layers and styles, Wimmering Manor remains an enigmatic place that sits amongst the many other historical locations that the city of Portsmouth can proudly boast, and no doubt we shall be returning again soon.